Hey guys, my name is Kalen Albert. Today I'm going to be talking about color correction and color grading. Color grading is sort of overlooked in snowboarding edits um, because people probably don't think it's that important. They might not even know what it is, but actually really important. Um, I'm going to be doing my color correction and color grading in Vegas Pro 12, um, but you can do basically the same exact thing and probably just about any editor, for sure any Vegas um, editor. So yeah. Alright, so um, the first thing that I will do is drop a clip into Sony Vegas. And the first thing I always do to my clips is um, I take, I go to um, video effects and go to levels. You can also use color curves for this, but um, levels is a little bit more simplistic. So um, I'll drop levels onto the video, just the uh, default. And I like to have this RGB parade up. It helps a lot. The first thing that I will do is um, basically I'll take this um, this first bar right here and I'll slide it over until this will darken the image until I like the look of that. This graph basically helps you because you don't want you can see the colors here on the graph and you don't want those colors going below the um, end of the graph. Then I'll take the in point end here and I will lighten everything a little bit. So that is all I do for the basic color correction. Now I'm noticing that this is going to need a little bit of sharpening so I will go and go to sharpen and then I'll do a medium sharpen on it. I would say that that looks just about good. Okay, so then the next thing I'll do is I'll do the actual color grade on it, and I will go to color correct, drag down the default, and you see this first one up here. I usually like to put in a little bit of blue to the lows, and then a little bit of orange or yellow into the highlights, and then drag down the saturation a little bit. So yeah, you'll see that that is looking pretty good. So the last thing I'll do is make it widescreen. So I'll go to the bottom here and drag it up like that. And that looks pretty good to me. Sometimes I'll um, add a vignette and how I do that is I go into the pan and crop and I will go to masking do this elliptical mask right here and I'll draw it out like that and then I will feather it all the way out and you'll see that that gives it sort of a nice vignette alright so I hope that helps you with your editing and um, please subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time